Hey, what's up guys? Pan the Organizer here. So today we are taking care of a vehicle from a person that you guys know and love. It's my brother, Andy. What's up guys? So he's uh, here today because we're going to take care of his uh, Mazda CX-5. If you guys remember uh, over a year ago, we applied the Avalon King ceramic coating. Uh, unfortunately, you guys are going to laugh, but my brother isn't like me. He doesn't like take care as much as he could because there's time constraints and a busy life, but he probably washed his car how many times you'd say, Andy? Four or five times. Only four to five times. Oh God, guys. So uh, yeah, it's quite in a state of disarray. There's a lot of brake dust. The wheels are caked. Uh, all the fender wells, it's been of course through the winter months. He didn't apply any maintenance products, which is a big no-no on a ceramic coating. So hopefully it's still there. Uh, we're gonna check out as well a new product from Avalon King at the end. This, by the way, quick disclaimer, it's uh, not a sponsored video, nobody paid for this. Uh, they did send me, however, one of the products that we'll be using today. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go over the uh, entire vehicle and you're gonna see the before and after shots, I think are quite dramatic. Look at the interior, oh my God, guys. Uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Is he really my brother? The uh, floor mats, of course, we're gonna dress. He's gonna get to play with a bunch of different products so yeah there's a lot to do links in the description for all the tools and products that uh, we'll use today for this uh, detail but uh, yeah it's not a complete disaster but I can tell definitely this is not pan the organizer level of cleanliness so we're gonna correct this I'm gonna put him to work as well guys today so uh, it should be fun I'm gonna spare you all the steps because you've seen a lot of this on my channel already but uh, yeah, it should be a fun one. And we're gonna come back at the end to apply the new product and we're gonna test that out. So let's go ahead and start the show. All right, guys, so we went ahead and did a full decon wash. So I'm not gonna run through all the steps because you've seen it in previous videos. You can go and check out my spring cleaning tutorial because we did a deep clean. We started with the uh, Built Hammer Auto Foam, so a high alkaline pH to remove traffic film and road grime. Then we went ahead and did the contact wash with CarPro D-Scale, so that's an acidic-based uh, shampoo to, again, remove any lime scale, mineral deposits, that kind of thing, to give us really a clean slate and rejuvenate the coating because my brother didn't do any maintenance. I do not recommend that. Every two to three months, you should be applying some, some sort of silicon dioxide topper or graphene topper to maintain the coating properties. Uh, so we had a lot of deconning to do to restore the hydrophobics, uh, but it's been over a year now since we applied the Avalon King ceramic coating and it's still doing fine. Uh, I'd say it's roughly 85% of its performance, so if he had maintained it, it'd be even better. But I'm gonna show you the hydrophobics in just a second. Uh, but after the uh, washing steps, went ahead and did the iron removal with an iron remover to remove any brake dust and further embedded ferrous metals or uh, industrial fallout that was on the paintwork. Uh, fully rinsed it and now before we go ahead and dry and apply the new product from Avalon King I wanted to show you the hydrophobics currently so you can see what they look like before anything is applied so here is the hood I'm going to do you a uh, flat panel and then a vertical panel so you can see so there you go we still get very good sheeting the water beads aren't quite as tight as they were initially as you're probably going to tell but it's still there and I mean, it's still sheeting. We still have decent gloss and slickness and all that stuff. So imagine if it had actually followed his brother's instructions and maintained it, but it's fine. That's why I'm here to help him keep the vehicle in good condition. So it's still going strong. Uh, you can expect at least one to two years with this if you apply the two layers of the coating. Of course, um, leave an hour before each coat. Uh, give the full 48 hours of curing time, and then you should be good to go. Uh, but if you maintain it every two to three months, uh, a lot of my viewers out there that have had it for three plus years, well, it's been doing good, especially if you live in gentler climates. Of course, durability is always a question of maintenance, conditions, application, and all that stuff. So it's very variable, but so far, it's so good. Let's see on a vertical panel now, so you can have a look at the hydrophobics before we apply the protection. And there we go. So not sheeting as quick as it used to be, but still very, very good. And the hydrophobics are definitely there. Water beating, the water is sheeting. It's gonna be easy to maintain now. And of course, we're gonna boost the coating's properties. So uh, stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so we fully cleaned the vehicle, fully decontaminated, we dried it, and now it's time to apply the topper. And for that purpose, we have a new product from Avalon King that they just released. This is called their Armor Shield Light. So what is this? Because as you guys know, if you've been following my videos, they had a previous product, which was called the SiO2 Boost Spray. 
So this one here, up to six months of protection, but it needed curing time when you applied it. And some of you guys working in different conditions complained a little bit that it might be hard to apply. I didn't have those issues. I work in a controlled environment. So Avalon King listened and they wanted something even more user friendly. So this is why they released the Armor Shield Light. So this one is one to three months of protection. You can apply it on a dry surface, use it as a drying aid on a wet surface. There is no curing time and they went for ease of application. So you just spray on, you wipe off and you're good to go. And again, there's no curing time. So you can drive off in the elements immediately after using this. So they call it Armor Shield Light because it's basically like a ceramic coating light, right? You can use this as a standalone paint protectant. So for those of you who might not have the experience of detailing or don't necessarily have the budget for a full ceramic coating or the time to do a full coating job, but still want the benefits. So the hydrophobic properties, the UV protection, the gloss, the slickness, uh, well, you can get that in this. So I'm gonna show you now, this is gonna act in this case as a topper over the existing coating. But again, you can use this as a standalone and you can spray this by the way, and apply this on all the exterior surfaces so paint glass plastic trim headlights tail lights your wheels pretty much all the exterior surfaces so you're going to use one towel to do the initial wiping and then a second clean and dry microfiber towel for the buff so it's as easy as you're going to see and we should get nice tight round water beads after all this and again they went for easy application so no streaking with this of course, always apply it on a cool surface, work in the shade if possible, but you should still be fine in a bit of sunlight if you work in small sections. So even now with the first wipe, hopefully you can tell on camera, it's already pretty clean. Take the second clean and dry towel and immediately, I mean, this, this just glides off. So very, very slick. This is gonna help to boost your gloss, your slickness, your slickness the hydrophobic properties. And again, you should get anywhere from one to three months of protection. So if you don't have any protection on your car and you want a quick standalone, this could be it. Or if you want to maintain your existing Avalon King ceramic coating or any other ceramic coating that you have, uh, this is going to be that one. Again, all the links will be in the description under the video. Let me show you what the hydrophobic properties look like because I know you guys are probably curious. And come on close. So here we go. If you remember before, the uh, water beads weren't as round or as tight as they used to be. And now, if you come in here, look at that. These are very, very round, very, very tight. There are spots where the paint is already dry, so we get good sheeting. Look at this droplet here. So yeah, we restored the hydrophobics, and that's how easy it is. So spray on, wipe off, no curing. You can drive off in the elements and pretty much enjoy it. So we're going to dry this off, and uh, we're going to come back to show you the uh, end results. So, so that's what it is, Armor Shield Light one to three months of protection, spray on, wipe off, no curing, and you get all the benefits uh, of a, a ceramic coating. You just have to reapply it more often, and you can apply it on pretty much all the exterior surfaces. All right, I thought, by the way, we'd also show you a vertical panel, so you guys see this as well. So let's test the hydrophobics on this. So now we apply the Armor Shield Light. Ah, and now we can see very quick sheeting and come in closer. Look at how round and tight those water beads are so we perfectly restored the hydrophobic properties we added a topper to the protection boosted the existing protection and that's going to help to maintain the coating all right guys let's have a look at the end results so andy what do you think amazing amazing but are you going to take care of it be honest look at the camera tell my viewers are you going to take care of it you will uh oh thanks <laughs> there you go guys drop a comment in the comment section how do you feel so yeah, it came out very nice. My brother, of course, I still told him to put a little elbow grease, so he helped out. We did the uh, interior of the wheel arches to protect them with some 303 aerospace protectant. We added a uh, tire dressing. This here is the luxury microfiber tire king tire coating. All of the uh, paintwork, glass and plastics were protected with the Avalon King armor shield light. This now is so, so silky smooth, it's nuts. When you remove, remove your gloves later, Andy, you're gonna see, but I think you can tell the gloss, eh? Oh yeah, it's completely amazing. Isn't it the insane? The is crazy. Look at the gloss. So we managed to bring pretty much the entire performance back. It looks absolutely stunning. There are a few dints and dents, right, that you notice, uh, Andy, on it. That's part of the normal life driving. Unfortunately. And yeah, when everything shines, you can see all the defects a little more. People don't take care, man. When you park somewhere, they like dent your car. You have to beware. He lives in a, in a condo. So the uh, condo dwellers don't always 
are wary or take care of other people's vehicles. But uh, I think you guys can see how well it came out. So I helped my brother out to bring back the vehicle to as good as it can. So now it's a little over two years, right Andy? When did you buy this? Uh, 2020. 2020, what month? May. May, and we applied it roughly, I think if I remember correctly, May 2021, the ceramic coating. So now it still, should still be doing fine for a while. Ideally, every two to three months, Andy, that's when you would apply a product like the uh, Armor Shield Light to maintain this. But uh, don't worry, of course, I'm your brother. I got you covered. So if you want to see more videos with Andy, uh, let me know. Hey, Andy, look here. Yeah, that's right. Say hi to the viewers. So now we're going to tackle the interior because, uh, oh my God, that's what happens when you have a busy life, right? It's not that bad, but usually my brother has a very, very clean interior. I don't know what happened here. Probably his friends don't care as much, right? So uh, that's what we're tackling next. So guys, all the uh, links of the products will be in the description under the video. Uh, drop a comment if you wanna see more videos with my brother, what kind of video would you want me to uh, do with him? He used, by the way, the uh, Tornador with an enzyme cleaner to clean the uh, WeatherTech floor mats. Now we're letting them dry and apply the uh, protectant to rejuvenate them, but uh, looks pretty good. So guys, thanks for being there, thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.